everyone how are you it's Casey I am jumping on quickly to make this video before we run out of time it has been a super busy holiday season as I'm sure it has been for all of you I'm still trying to find the best place to record videos and I think I figured it out except I'm kneeling because I need a table to put this on but we can do it. I can make it on my knees through this video. Basically, I just want to tell you about the event that I have coming up this month. So some of you may remember Blythe versus Blythe. It's a virtual event that I um, started many years ago and I stopped doing a couple of years ago because it was a lot of work and it took up a lot of my time and it just wasn't feasible while I was going through the pregnancies. But a lot of you Blythe fans have asked me to bring it back. And so I created a smaller event. So it's only gonna be a week long and it's starting on January 13th. So it's coming up very soon. Um, and for it being a small event, we're going to feature Petite Blythe. So it seemed sort of fitting to do a, the smallest Blythe doll for the smallest event. So I ordered this doll for the event. So I thought we would unbox her while I tell you a little bit about what's coming up. So I got this doll used on eBay, but she's in her box and I'm planning on customizing her um, for the event. So if you're not familiar with Blythe versus Blythe or you don't remember, it's a virtual Blythe convention hosted on Facebook. There is a fee to join. The fee um, goes to several different things. It's to mail prizes, to um, host the website, and a cash prize for the customization winner. So at the heart of the event, it's always a customization contest. Um, this event, anyone is willing or anyone is, um, able to participate in the cu customization part, but even if you're not planning on customizing a doll or you don't want to enter the competition, we will play games throughout the week. There are prizes. Um, it's a lot of fun. We have a shopping event, all kinds of things. So you can go over to the website blythversusblythe.com to read all the details. Um, once you pay the fee to join, you're added to the group. If you are unable to pay the fee, there is a donation option um, to donate a prize for the prize pool instead of paying. So if that is something you need to utilize, feel free to let me know. Um, we want everyone to join um, no matter what. So head over there and check it out. But this is my little doll that I'm going to customize. There's all kinds of petite dolls. Um, a lot of times you have to get them used though, and they have their own little unique challenges. I love this leather. I didn't realize this was leather and these are not shoes that come off they're painted on that's the only thing i'm not a huge fan of with their bodies if you don't like that but look at this tiny leather jacket this feels like real leather and there is a leather skirt and top under there well i think it's actually a whole dress how cute is that that is so cute um so we will also be having demos. So I've had a lot of people on this channel ask me to um, do a customization video for Petite Blythe. So I am going to do a demo over on, it's called the Great Blythe Race. I'm going to do a demo there. So if you are one of the ones wanting a Petite Blythe demo, this would be a great group to join to have access to that. We'll have other people doing demos as well. Um, so it looks like this is attached, so we'll have to cut that off. I don't know what my plan is for her, but Petite Blythe just has one little screw back there. And recently my long screwdriver stopped working, so I've been using this one for my sewing machine. It looks like it'll work. So let's open her.
And I want to get this off of here. I can't. She's got this chain and this leather and I don't want to ruin it, but I think that that is stuck down in her head. I don't know how that's going to come off. Sometimes Petite Blythe takes some prying. So the other, there might be some glue in there as well. So I'm probably not gonna be able to get her open right this minute on video. I may have to soak her and I need to get this off first. But um, my plan for her, I don't know what my plan is necessarily for her face. Maybe I'll, I'll see what everybody would like to see. Maybe an open mouth. I still have my other little petite here. Where is she? She is the model for the event. Let me find her. She's kind of been hanging out uh, with no pants on being my model for different promo shots. So you can see what, what they can look like. Let's see if we can get this open. I see. So when you're prying, you'll see that there's like a ridge inside on both sides. That's where I try to pry, not along the faceplate. Otherwise, you will have to sand down the faceplate. Um, but it looks like the scalp is glued quite a bit. So we may have to pry around that area. Sometimes you need um, an X-Acto knife around the hairline. So it's gonna take me a bit to get that off and this leather is completely, I, I had a feeling that was going to happen with this leather because this old kind of leather always, um, disintegrates so I don't know if I'm going to keep her hair I actually kind of like her little blonde bob but I want to get that out of there and it's it's down in her head I don't know if I can get that out oh got it so I think I could wash that leather out I actually kind of like her little blonde hair. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm going to have to work on this head because it feels like it's glued and I would rather soak it than cut it because if you use the scalpel or the X-Acto knife, you can cut into the soft part of the scalp, which can make it not go back on nicely. So I think we're going to soak her and then get her apart. But I basically just wanted to get on here to tell you about the event um, so that you don't miss out. Since it's a week-long event, it's going to move really quickly. And in previous events, they were month-long, and we had way more time to get the word out that it was occurring and people could sign up throughout the entire month. But with it only being a week and a few days for voting and all of that, it's going to be really hard. Um, so head over, join the group. We have had donations coming in. Let me show you a couple of those. I received this donation yesterday from Debbie of my beautiful Blythe. Super cute outfit set. Um, and again, donations don't have to be for Petite Blythe. That's the doll we are celebrating at the event. But as long as the donations are for Blythe, um that's fine i also got a bunch of fabric and a really cute dress from tammy peace craft dolls and tammy also runs a virtual event i think hers is in june so um check her out as well so those are a couple of the fun donations we also have 
some fabric from Tammy um, and other donations on the way. Uh, we have an art piece um, that's coming. Well, actually it'll be shipped to the winner. So lots of fun prizes coming in. So please head on over and join us so we can have an excess, uh, successful event. And I hope to see you over there. Bye everyone, I hope you're well. Oh, I wanted to give you an update on the um, giveaway doll that I said in my last video I was going to potentially have done. I think we all knew that I wasn't going to have it done, but here she is. I have not worked on her, but she's really almost done. The carving is almost done. And once the carving is done, I usually can finish the doll quickly. So I am still gonna give this doll away um, when she's done. So hopefully, hopefully um, it won't be much longer and, and I will have that doll. So that's kind of the update of what's going on. I haven't been on here because I just haven't had time to make a video and I haven't really had a topic. So I'm hoping as always to get back to it now that the holidays are over, but we'll just have to see. So anyway, hope you're all well. See you soon. Bye.